everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a quick review and a first impression of the Maybelline Great Lash Real Impact in Very Black. I picked this up the other day and I've been wanting to try it because I saw a ton of advertising for it. So the back of it says that the Real Impact Full Brush builds each lash to reveal real looking volume. The Lash Respect formula is enriched with shea butter and naturally builds volume. There are no artificial waxes in it, and it's supposed to be easy removal. It's ophthalmologist tested and contact lens suitable. So if you want to see if I think this is worth buying and Maybelline's new mascara lives up to its claims, please keep watching. So obviously to me, the biggest packaging change is going to be the change of the colors, which I really like. You know, the original one is pink and green, which is cute and so fun. It's classic. I think one of those sells like every five seconds or something. But this one, the pink and black, I don't know, it's really girly, and I think I like that. It's really fun, and I think it's also going to be easy to locate if it's down in a makeup bag or a purse or wherever it may be. So let's go ahead and open up this bad boy and see if we like it. So I just opened up the packaging, and I have to say, I'm already impressed by the brush. I'm eager to see how it translates into using it in my eyes. It's pretty long, the actual brush part. But as far as overall, it's a good size. I feel like some mascara ones get too long and you can't really get in there and get a good feel for your eyelashes. So hopefully this one will but do I'm that. I'm only going to apply it to one of my eyes first so we can see the difference. And I haven't curled my lashes, so we are just going to get in there. So right off the bat, it does feel pretty creamy. And I don't have anything else on my lashes. And like I said, I haven't curled them. So it does look like this is going to be buildable. Let's see. It's almost weird to do one eye at a time because I normally alternate. So it does have a pretty creamy formula. Like a lot creamier than other mascaras I'm using, but it feels nice. I mean, maybe it won't get stiff then. So now that my makeup is completely done, um, I have to say I'm a little bit torn about this product. On one side, there's a lot of really good things and I like a lot, but on the other side, it's kind of like, I don't know if I would repurchase it. So, one of the things I didn't like about it was how long it took me to build up the volume. Um, the package says real looking volume and easy removal, and the back of it, like I read earlier, says Full brush builds each lash to reveal real looking volume. So I do think that that is true. Um, I think that it did build very natural looking volume, but it took me so long to get there. Um, like four or five coats and it's still not, I'm not happy with it still. So that was not great in my opinion. Um, but I do think it looks really natural and I can tell you like even now touching my eyelashes, I mean, I put a ton of this on there, and they're really soft still. Like, you know, some mascaras, like, telescopic you put on, and it's like, ee, and they're just stuck there, and they're so hard, and you have to be so careful taking it off, because it just feels like all your eyelashes are going to fall off if you pull that makeup remover just wrong. Now, this did not feel like that. Obviously, I haven't taken it off yet, but I can tell you just, I mean, just by feeling it now, it's going to come off easily. And it seems really, like, soft. I know that's a weird way to describe it, but if you try it, you'll know what I mean. And that could be because this thing says the Lash Formula, Lash Respect Formula, was enriched with shea butter to naturally build volume. And there's no artificial waxes in it. So I think I can feel that. I know that seems weird, but you can. Like, it just is very nourishing feeling, which is great. But, I don't know. There was just something about it that didn't quite do it for me. Um, personally, I like, I guess, not natural looking volume. I want my eyelashes to be like, whoa. Even if I don't have falsies or 3D, 3D mascara on or something, I want them to look really, really big and bold. And I think that this is not going to do that for me. I do think that this would be fine for like building up 
especially to put falsies on. I think this would be a great base mascara, but I think as far as just wearing mascara, this isn't going to be my go-to, but that is a good point. I just realized that when I said it, like I would buy this again to wear under falsies because it did give me a really natural look and it didn't make them too spiky or like stained out too much. I think they would blend really well with false lashes. And I also think that this would be really, really good for beginners, for someone in, say, junior high or early high school, maybe your parents are just letting you start wearing makeup, I think this would be perfect for you because, you know, it is going to take a little bit of time to build it up, but that also means you can't mess it up immediately. So you can't, like, do one swipe and just, the like, mascara everywhere and it look really bad. I think with this, you can build it up and it's going to be easy to use and it's not going to look thick and goopy which is kind of how I like my lashes sometimes. I am guilty of that. So I think this is a really great beginner mascara and I think it's a really great under false lashes mascara or just running quick errands. But I would not recommend this mascara if you're wanting lots of volume quickly. It took a long time to build up and it's still to get the desired volume that I personally prefer. However, I do think it's a good product. I like it 20 times better than the original Great Lash. Um, that one has a really, like, gel consistency to it. This one does not have that. The brush is also way better, I think. It's a lot longer. I was able to hit a lot of my lashes at once. So this is something that for a day-to-day -day mascara, I would not repurchase. If this was a beginner mascara or a base layering mascara, I would definitely repurchase this. So, like I said, I'm kind of torn. But I do think it's a good enough product that you should definitely check it out. I think... That it's worth checking because it might work better for you than it did for me or you may dislike it way more than the things I didn't like about it. So if you choose to check out this mascara because of this review please let me know and subscribe and like this video to see more videos from me. More reviews, hauls, makeup tutorials, all of the above. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day!